Hi all, we're on a roll here, so we're going to come back with yet another Bruce Springsteen song. This one's Candy's Room, also off the Darkness on the Edge of Town album. I, I had a request for this one as well, and I was kind of looking on the internet, and I didn't see too many great sort of uh, tabs or anything like that that would help with the, certainly the guitar solo section, but even some of the chord changes and things like that. Um, so hopefully this helps. Uh, any of you out there trying to learn it. So it's a great tune, uh, but before we get into it, I have to make a quick note. We're in standard tuning here, but I'm going to be playing this this song in, in A. Now, on the album, Bruce plays it in G. So it, 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 you, if you want to play along to the album version, you're going to take what I, what I teach you and transpose everything down a whole step everything's the same but uh again move everything down a whole step so i'm gonna teach everything in a you should play it in g if you're playing along with the album now i'm teaching it in a because live he plays it in a and my favorite version of this song is the live 7585 version which he plays in a and this version was recorded uh july 8th 1981 at the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey. So this is uh, on the later and the latter portion of the River Tour. Uh, great, great song, really underrated in his uh, discography. Great drumming work from from the Mighty Max Weinberg, um, and some really great guitar uh, sort of workouts on it. In terms of the solo is pretty cool, and um, the chord changes. Now, a quick note before I get into the chord changes. You gotta really, you know, you gotta really use your ear on this one. Uh, I'll teach it as best as I can, but it, it's almost hard for me, even when I'm playing along, to hear the actual chord changes. Um, I tabbed the song out a few years ago, and I just revisited the ta uh, that that tab recently, and uh, you know, I was sort of looking at how I transcribed it and sort of how I played things, and and it's particularly looking at the chord changes actually, and I realized like I don't even. I don't think that I was right a few years ago. <laughs> so um, I gave it another listen in the last week or so and, re and really played through it a few times. And uh, now I think I got it down. So I'm here to teach it to you guys. But uh, don't get discouraged if you don't get it at first because it, it's a little tricky, I think, trying to listen and play along to those chord changes. Um, it, you may not pick it up right away because um, I certainly didn't. Um, it, it just, it, it's something about the way the song sort of moves and changes. It, it's just, it's hard to hear those specific transitions between chords in there. So, um, let's get to it. This is a fun rocker. Um, I got my, my strat. Uh, if you have a telecaster that obviously gets you close to Bruce's sound, but uh, anything with a single coil pickup will sound great on this one. So let's do it. Um, starting here. A major. So uh, the main pattern, I'm going to kind of play play through the patterns and call out the chord names as I go through it. Um, we're starting here with this first sort of verse section, A major, and you're going to be sort of palm muting. So you're going to be like A major, down to G major, staying on G major to a quick quick D major change there. And back to an A major. So let me play through it, the, the whole thing. It's hard to sing this and play at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, I would go ahead and do it. I, I can try right now. Let me, let me just do my best to concentrate here and let's see if we can nail it. Ready? Here we go. In Candy's room, there's pictures of heroes on the wall. But to get to Candy's room, you gotta walk the darkness to Candy's hall. So one more time, you're gonna play through that same progression. Call my baby's number, bring out our toys, come knocking. D A, right? So you do that progression twice. The Timing's a little tricky, right? So play it slowly, practice it, you'll hit it, you'll nail it. 
So we go through that progression twice. Now we're getting into the, the, the sort of when Bruce sings, uh, there's a sadness. We're going to that, that D major. There's a sadness hidden in that pretty G major. It's a sadness all hurt. A major. And then we're going to, uh, from which no man can keep candy safe. We do a really a half measure there of D major. Which no, which no man can keep candy safely. Kiss. The whole band comes in. You're back to the A major, back to the top. So really quickly, let me just play through, let me just play through that whole first verse super quick. Here we go, ready? Start back up. Here's the change, ready? There's a sadness hidden in that pretty face. Sadness all her own. From which no man can keep candy safe. We kiss. Same as before. Just A G D A. You can play any way you want. You can play bar chords, open chords, doesn't matter. Right? Okay. So now we're going to go to the sort of build up section that happens right before the solo. I mean, if you, maybe you want to call this a bridge um, where uh, uh, Bruce sings, She says, Baby, if you want to be wild, D major. You got a lot to G major. Close your eyes, let them melt. Let them fire. Let them burn, cause in the darkness. Back to A major. So, so she says, baby, if you want to be a while, you got a lot to G major. Close your eyes, let them melt. Let them fire. D major, G major in the darkness. And then same progression as earlier. Guitar solo. So let's let me kick on some distortion here and let's do the guitar solo. So we're starting way up here. Fourteenth fret of the B string. So you got that first phrase, so we're going 14th fret B, hammer on from 12 to 14 on the B, bend and release 14th fret on the B string, uh, kind of a full step bend and release, to 12, back to 14, same phrase again. So you play that a few times, and now we're gonna move way up here, 19th fret, right? You can also play it here, the 14th fret of the high E string. I like playing it up here on the B as well. So you're going, bend, keep bending it. Then you're gonna finally bend release to 17, 16 on the B string, and then you're gonna go, you're gonna, you can either slide in from the 17th to 19th on the high E, or you can bend it up. And now we're gonna come back down here really quickly. You're gonna go back down, now you're in this position. You're gonna go. So, 
11th fret bend up on the uh, G string there. 9th fret on the B and the high E. So that's a full step bend and release there again on the 11th fret of the G string. Pull off to 9, to 11 on the D string, to uh, 9 on the G string. So here we go, ready? Then you repeat that lick. Alright, and the last little phrase, bend up the 12th fret here on the B string, and last but not least, really high bend, 19th fret on the high E. Nice whole step bend there to end it. So that is sort of the guitar solo section. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and teach the sort of post solo section, I don't know what else to call it. Um, where he sings, uh, she has fancy clothes and diamond rings, right? Um, so he goes, she has fancy clothes and diamond rings. That's D major to A major. She has men who give her anything. That's D major to A major again. She wants, but they don't. C, that's E minor to G. And then and then he goes, that what she wants is me. I just hang on D major there. I'm not sure exactly if he's playing it this way, but I hang on a D major when he says uh, that what she wants is me, that last line that uh, comes after, and that little tiny stanza that is, is after the guitar solo. So, so one more time. She has fancy clothes and diamond rings. Now you can throw this little lick in here. 14, 15 on the B string. Bend the 15th uh, fret up there on the B string. Ready? So she has fancy clothes and diamond rings. She has men who give her anything. G, E minor, but they don't G. What she wants is it's D major, me back to the A, and we're back to that sort of main section, right? And this is where you're gonna play this cool little lead line here. I think little Steven would uh, could do this live. I don't think Bruce would sing this and sing the song and be playing these leads at the same time. Um, you can also hear, if you're playing along with the Live 7585 version, you can hear this little lick, I believe, in the, in the, in the verse section that comes before the solo. You might hear it played once, um, or a little piece of it. So he's going 14th fret of the G string there, that's, that, that's the root note, so we're playing over an A. Hammer on from 12 to 14 on the G. Bend and release at the 14 to 12 on the G. Back to 14 on the G. Repeat that sort of phrase, right? So same phrase. So the so last time you go. 12, 11, 9 on the G. And then the second time it goes. So you kind of repeat it, right? You're just going to repeat that same thing over again. And the second time you're going to, or after that second time you play it, you're going to go back and you're, you're going to stay here now in this position. You go. So you bend up the 11th, release it, pick it flat to nine on the G. Bend it up again, release it to seven on the G. And then this last little phrase here, um, there's just one last little tiny bit. That's now the ninth fret 
bend uh, at the G string there, full step, release it to seventh fret on the G, and I just slide up from seven and nine on the G string. Okay, we have two little final notes that end the song. It's kind of, uh, you know, Max is going, you know, right on the cymbals, and it's like the very end of the song, he's playing, uh, he's playing this, he's playing a, you could play it a unison bend, or you could just bend up that the, uh, that'd be the 15th fret of the B string here. You're bending up to the, to an E note there. You can also, again, have that unison, have that high, uh, the high E string ringing open there at the 12th fret if you want to as well. And you're going to go, uh, last but not least, there's one final note. You're going to bend up the 15th fret of the high E string here. And again, this is going off the live 7585 version. And I'm playing uh, sort of little Stevens lead parts there. Um, Bruce might actually play the final notes. I'm not sure. Um, but but little Steven definitely plays the... I think, he, I think that's him that's going... That whole part. And again, that's playing over that final verse that... Oh, oh, and I want her so... That whole part is... That's where you're going you're gonna to play that. Um, so, I mean, that, that should about do it. Uh, that, that'll be Candy's room. Um, I hope you, that you, uh, got something out of this lesson and enjoyed it. Uh, I've always enjoyed this, this song and I've always thought it was, again, one of his more underrated tracks and certainly pretty cool. The lyrics are really interesting. Um, I actually did a, an in-depth analysis of the, of this song on my website um, I analyzed the whole Darkness on the Edge of Town album, both musically and lyrically, and just sort of what the, the album has meant to me in addition to sort of providing the history of it. So there's a little plug. Uh, recently, I, I came out with a, a music website, so I have some, obviously, a link to this YouTube channel on, on my music website in addition to some blog posts and even like my vinyl collection if you want to see that on Discogs, <laughs> is on my music website, and along with my original music and other things I've done. So I, I did it as a way to kind of, you know, uh, compact it into um, sort of one, and all in having one place, all my music things going on. Um, so please give that a, uh, uh, you know, give that a, a visit and and check that out. I'll leave the link um, in the description box here. Aaron Radio Studio. Dot com. Um, I'd like to thank my, my girlfriend for, for her encouragement and her support and uh, really pushing me to, to make that website. So uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Chelsea. Um, but I appreciate the, all the support out there. And uh, I thank all of my subscribers and everyone who's been sort of encouraging me this whole way. Um, and I encourage you to like and share this video, comment, uh, below, uh, you know, give me requests, give me feedback, please. I, I would enjoy that. Um, and again, thank you. Thank you for watching and, uh, stay safe out there. It's a little bit of a scary time right now, um, but we're going to get through this. So, uh, that's Candy's room. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Darkest on the Edge of Town means a hell of a lot to me right now. <laughs> it, I always thought it was a great album, but uh, it, it's as I'm certainly entering my more adult life, it's you know this whole album is it's extremely, extremely uh, top of mind. You know, listening to Bruce's words and and the music, um, it's really really special. So uh, I love this record and. I love the songs on it. So thank you for this request. Hope you enjoyed it and keep on rocking in the free world. Thanks.